even with my patch and methazine. Um, I guess we're about to go onto open waters. We've been in between and land up until now, so I'm feeling really sick. Um, I took two melatonin, so that hopefully I will just sleep through all of it, and two methazine and I have my patch. So they said it's gonna be a pretty rough night. Um, everything is secured down. Um, even like trash cans and pictures, everything's like glued down, I guess. Because when you hit like, I don't know, 15 to 30 foot waves, things can get sloshed around. So I'm planning on laying flat in my bed <laughs> um, for the next probably 15 hours until we can pass this storm. Uh, they suggested putting a uh, one of my life vests underneath the bed. I can't really show it to you, but um, to make the bed slanted. And there's also these bars so that if you do start rolling around, hopefully you don't fly off and hit something. Um, but I will catch up tomorrow. how tall the waves were but it was incredible because the um, water came up to like the first floor portholes and all they can see out is water um so huge waves i did throw up last night i feel a lot better today i just had to change my patch i guess um and then tomorrow they just let us know that they are going to get the boot rentals out um teach us how to get on and off the zodiacs and we think we're gonna make our first landing so exciting but i feel like Probably 85% better than I did last night. It was real rough. So rough that we have this chair um, that's sitting under a desk. <laughs> we hit a wave and it like flung it across the room. I guess we forgot to secure that down. And then we had hanger, hangers, like co-hangers hanging up. And um, those are slinging back and forth and back and forth. So we moved those. So I think our, our cabin is, is drape proof finally. <laughs> All right, I'll chat with you tomorrow.
believe I finally made it after was it five and a half, six days. It's beautiful. Oh, so beautiful. Oh, there's the little boaty. And there's some Mr. Penguins. It's just so stunning and quiet. There's like, no, obviously, no one lives here. And there's that camp thing where the researchers stay. Um, just so pretty. It's amazing. It's very surreal. Feels like a dream. <laughs> okay.
little pretty. It was just overcast. Um, so we got back on the ship and literally like seven minutes later, there's like another storm outside and it's snowing. You can't really see anything. Um, yeah, or you can't see anything. And the snow is starting to accumulate over there. So they said um, they're gonna tell us like where our next stop is in a couple hours. I don't, I guess they're just waiting to see how the storm's gonna go. But um, I'm gonna take that opportunity to nap because I am so tired. storm bigger than the last one the last one was producing like 30 foot waves the one that I was so sick on and everyone was sick um, this one could produce um, 120 feet waves foot waves I guess because they said it's the um, waves are like 40 meters high um, so the best way for us to avoid most of the storm because it's it's kind of it's coming for us where we're at um, we're gonna leave early a day early so we're gonna take off tonight um, do one more landing on um, Deception Island, which is a volcano island, so cool, and an old whaling station covered up by um, ash. But maybe while I'm talking, I'll show you this pretty views. Oh, you can't really see it. Um, so we either have the option to do a polar plunge. Uh, I will not be participating in that. It's so freaking cold. Or we can walk, look at the whaling station. Um, so anyway, so we're gonna leave tonight, um, so that when the worst of the storm hits. Um, we'll be closer to land in case something happens to the boat. I said last time a storm like this hit the boat there was damage to it and um, a few of the passengers got pretty hurt um, from being flown around. So um, I'm just excited we got to actually go on the Antarctic Peninsula. There were a few people that were crying because we were gonna miss another day but or miss the last day but I'm like you know this place is incredible. Most people don't even get to do this so I mean we, I can't really complain, um, and I do not want to be, I'd like to limit my time in 40 meter waves <laughs> if possible, because I'm going to be puking the whole time. I'm not even see if I can stick like, like three or four patches on. Um, anyway, so that's what we're doing now. We're headed up to Deception Island, um, so I will make a video there.
Deception Island. It's kind of creepy. It kind of feels like a dream because you have like food and water and all this volcanic ash and no animals, no people. And here is, I think I took a picture earlier. There's this old stove just sitting in the middle of the snow. And apparently this place, this was built in, or the last time it was inhabited by researchers, like 1931. So everything's just kind of frozen. So weird. So pretty. completely process the wheel, which is really sad, but, um, so I'm talking about those things, the cylinder things, they're enormous, and then the, um, they have the front end of a ship, um, that used to be here, I don't know where the rest of it is, very creepy and very beautiful, oh, the first wildlife here, they have these little birds, they're white birds, oh my gosh, and there's some pink ones, Ha, ha, ha. 